Hello dear friends, welcome to Baiju's exam prep, the comprehensive e-learning app. Dear friends, now you can learn important concepts of gate through this coffee with concept series. Today I am going to discuss one very very important concept from graph theory that is isomorphism. Before starting, let me introduce myself. Myself, Sridhar Dhulipala, I am having 20 plus years of teaching experience and I am associated with Baiju's from past two years. With Baiju's, you are having double advantage that is recorded video content and live video lectures. Under Baiju's exam prep app, under the category video lessons, you can find all these subjects which were recorded by me, engineering mathematics for all the branches. Whereas exclusively for computer science students, discrete mathematics, algorithms, C programming and data structures. You can also connect with me through my telegram group CS underscore Sridhar to get regular updates about my classes, my dear friends. You can also connect me on my Facebook as well as Instagram handles. So without wasting your time, let me start with the concept of isomorphism. See, two graphs are said to be isomorphic if there is a one-to-one -one correspondence between their vertices, their edges and also the adjacency between the two graphs is maintained. Okay. See, my dear friends, in a very, very simple general sense, isomorphic graphs are same graphs which are drawn differently. See, the best method to verify isomorphism is Try to get one graph from the other graph. So you can do following operations. You can stretch the graph, shrink, rotate, flip horizontally or vertically. But you are not supposed to break the vertices or the edges. By doing any of these operations of rotation, okay, stretching, shrinking, okay, flip, you can do anything. If you can able to get one graph from the other graph, then the two graphs are isomorphic and this is the best method to verify whether two graphs are isomorphic or not. So let me take up few simple example in this particular session. Let us take the following two graphs. Okay, first graph and the second graph. Are these two graphs isomorphic? See my dear friends, when you talk about isomorphism, it is not with respect to labeling. They may not have the same labels, my dear friends. Labels may be different. Their sizes may be different. But only thing is, they are the same graphs drawn with different labels, different orientations. That's it. They are the same graphs, just drawn differently. Of course, we can verify whether they are isomorphic or not using adjacency matrix method. You have to write adjacency matrix of the first graph and adjacency matrix of the second graph for a mapping between the vertices. Of course, the complexity of this particular method would be order n factorial. Obviously, they will not be interested in this method when they ask the question in gate examination. Okay. So, let me tell you how you can verify one graph is isomorphic to the other one. See, what I do is I will make a small rotation of the second graph. See, just imagine, these are all simple imaginative techniques, nothing more than that. Basic level isomorphism you can always obtain by simple conversion of one graph by making small rotations, flips or stretching or shrinking. Okay, by doing these operations on a graph, you can obtain the other graph. If you see the second graph, I just make a small rotation. That's it. It is exactly same as the first graph. Maybe small, size may be a little smaller, uh, labels may be different, but they are the same graphs drawn differently. They are isomorphic. So, suppose this graph is G1 and this graph is G2. You can happily say that these two graphs are isomorphic. Let us take up some more examples. Are these two graphs isomorphic? I try to get one graph from the other graph. What I do? I flip second graph horizontally. Now I make a stretch, okay, at this particular point, I'll, okay, pull down. 
I just uh, take this particular vertex and I pull down that particular vertex, my dear friends. So by pulling down, what happened? So this is the new graph which is obtained. Now make a small rotation of G2. And they are the same graphs. So it is initially there are two different graphs. But after making simple operations, rotational operations, stretching or shrinking of flips, you can obtain the second graph from the first graph or first graph from the second graph. Okay. So that is what you need to understand my dear friends. And most of the questions which they asked in gate or they may be asking in future can be solved using this method. This is a very basic method to identify whether the given graphs are isomorphic or not. <clears throat> so the two graphs are same graphs drawn differently. Let us take one more example. Are these two graphs isomorphic or not? Try to do that operations like you know try to stretch take a particular vertex try to stretch it out okay but you you are not supposed to cut any edge my dear friends of course you can redraw one graph again so that you can get the other graph that is one method or try to do this simple rotations stretching shrink or flip operations to get other graph my dear friends <clears throat> now let us try this so i just pull this particular vertex down now try to pull this vertex up obviously the connected edges also comes out and you can see that the two graphs are same graphs drawn differently let us try one more example are these two graphs isomorphic so if you see the first graph it is like you know a paper or a book over other book so they are like this you are having one paper maybe other paper lying like this just open it up so let us open this particular portion my dear friends just open it like a page so when you open it after making a small rotation you can see the two graphs are isomorphic now the left side is most important graph that is k4 graph okay complete graph where every pair of vertices are adjacent now what about the second one is it isomorphic to the given graph are the same graphs drawn differently or not so what do you do just take this particular vertex pull this out so by doing that you get same graphs that is these two graphs are isomorphic the next one the most important cycle phi cycle so this is a phi cycle this is also a phi cycle are these two graphs isomorphic or not let us verify see one method as i told you is without doing any operation just try to map the labels or the vertices so that you can verify that these two are same graphs drawn differently see for example if you observe one two three four five is a cycle here see cycle means what sir it is a phi cycle where you start at a vertex so we can see the labels 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. These labels are such that every label is adjacent to the next label, next label like that. And the last label is adjacent back to the first label. So can you create that same magic here? Let us try. So I call it as 1. I call it as 2. I call it as 3, 4, 5. Okay. Now you see this particular one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Is also a same cycle it is also a phi cycle so i can just see this as rajnikant outside and rajnikant in movies the superstar rajnikant okay both are same so it is about isomorphism my difference or let us try one more method that is let us try to get first graph from second graph let us try this so i open this up hope you understand what i am trying to do is i am trying to get first graph from second graph pull this now again what you can do sir you can take this vertex and you can open it up and you can pull this down now you can see the same phi cycle hopefully you understand i repeat this process for you my dear friends it would be very very interesting one you can see this 
first open this or pull this to the right pull this particular word text to the right okay then just like opening the page or pull this particular word text down the top word text and then pull this particular word text down and you see that they are the same cycles and you can rotate it make a small rotation here so that you can get same graph once again so this is about isomorphism my dear friends so you can define formally also two graphs are said to be isomorphic if there exists a mapping between their vertex set that is vertex set of first graph and vertex set of second graph we can create a mapping such that the mapping is one to one and on to see this one to one and on to creates the one to one correspondence between number of vertices and number of edges it is just a necessary condition my dear friends by this what happens we can clearly verify that the two graphs are having same number of vertices and same number of edges but that is not sufficient my dear friends it should also preserve the adjacency between the what uh, between the two graphs or the parts of the two graphs okay so we call this isomorphism as adjacency preserving mapping okay these two conditions are just necessary condition by these two condition we can get the following information that the two graphs have same number of vertices same number of edges same degree sequence but that is not sufficient my dear friends sometimes you may find two graphs look similar but they are not isomorphic because the adjacency may not be preserved in them okay so that is very very important so isomorphism is a one one and on two mapping which preserves adjacency so if a and b are adjacent in g1 two vertices are adjacent in graph 1 they are also the map the corresponding images because we are creating a mapping between the vertices so the corresponding image vertices also should have the adjacency between them that is what you mean by adjacency between the vertices of the graph so if two graphs are isomorphic they have same number of vertices same number of edges same degree sequence my dear friends but this is only necessary condition but not sufficient the sufficient condition is they also should have that is the mapping should be adjacency preserved <clears throat> now you can have such examples where the following two graphs are not isomorphic see for example if you observe these two graphs are having three plus four seven vertices this graph is also okay here number of vertices are six only so basic condition is not verified they are not isomorphic you can see number of ways to check whether the two graphs are isomorphic or not sometimes i may give you one more example i think there is a vertex which was missing actually even this is having seven vertices so no problem suppose i keep a vertex here let us see both are having seven vertices of course six are there means they are not isomorphic clearly but here they have seven vertices edges if you check okay here five here also one some more vertices are missing in the diagram let me draw them properly i think actually the two graphs are having eight vertices and eight vertices eight and eight edges if you check one two three here five so eight edges here we are having here how many edges one two three four five six three four five six seven eight eight edges they have same number of vertices same number of edges but they are not isomorphic why they are not isomorphic because you can just verify this simple idea here there is a five cycle and here it is a three cycle so they can never be isomorphic my dear friends okay so you can identify some cases where they are not same graphs maybe one fellow is having a three cycle one fellow is having five cycle or adjacency is not preserved such kind of examples you can identify to prove that the two graphs are not isomorphic hopefully you understand this particular concept of isomorphism with the simple examples we'll meet with our next session in next coffee with concept series till then goodbye